Um, I'm representing a European delegation in India. Uh, just for your understanding, I just want to do clarify what is European delegation in India. This is a diplomatic mission representing 28 uh, member states uh, in India. Uh, today, I will just give a briefly what instruments, what programs the EU um, have with India and which uh, it's for the scientific and industrial people. So I'm, I belong from uh, Research and Innovation Service of the uh, European delegation. So our mandate is to foster and strengthen uh, research and innovation cooperation with Indian and European scientific and industrial community. Our another objective is to build a synergy among the member states while collaborating with India and develop a common principles and rules. That are the main uh, broader uh, objectives of our service. As far as the EU is concerned, the larger objective for research and innovations are divided into three uh, main factors. One is excellence in science, uh, competitive industries, and social uh, challenges. To achieve this, uh, EU and India had developed different instruments, and they are particularly in two, two categories. One is political instruments, and uh, another is funding instrument. As far as the political instrument is concerned, India and EU had uh, SNT agreement signed in 2001, and followed by it is renewed in 2008. And af apart from that, India and EU also develop a strategic agenda, which is signed by the ministerial level. And it highlights all the priorities and the common areas of interest in this particular document. Apart from that, we also develop a group of senior officials, because at this moment, there is a lot of uh, fragmentation in research activities in member state Europe as well as the Indian ministries going on. So both the sides felt that we need to have a senior uh, government official consultations. And this is in order to build a, a synergy among the research and innovation cooperations between different stakeholders. Um, as far as the funding is concerned, the EU has a flagship program called as FP7. This is uh, the one of the biggest uh, research and innovation funding program of uh, started in 2007 and it will end in 2013. Uh, overall budget was around 30, uh, 54 billion euros. Under this program, I'm very happy to inform you that the Indian researchers are one of the leaders. Uh, they are stands in terms of participation fourth and in terms of receiving the grant at the third position. Um, an overall budget received by the Indian team is around 36 million euros. And I just want to make sure that there, apart from research uh, institutions, there are a few industries, uh, pharmaceutical industries also benefited from this grant. The next flagship program will call as Horizon 2020 and overall which will begin in 2014 till 2020 and the budget is around 70.2 billion euros. Apart from the flagship programs, we also have a networking uh, program, which is a very famous one, Marie Curie Action uh, Program. Under this Marie Curie Action uh, Program, uh, Indian uh, scientists are the most uh, funded or most benefited uh, uh, country. At this moment, there are 782 uh, researchers uh, who benefited from the Marie Curie uh, Fellowship Program, which stand which give us support for postdoc, uh, PhD, as well as the mobility between the expert scientists. And overall investment is around 4.2 uh, million euros. Um, apart from that, uh, joint uh, initiatives, uh, which we called with India, uh, we have a coordinated call. Still date, we had five coordinated calls with India, uh, which is costing around 60 million euros in Mainly, uh, the areas of interest are social challenges like water, uh, food and nutrition, solar energy, uh, bio waste. Uh, and we feel that the coordinated calls are the future uh, direction for the collaboration between EU and India because it is a partnership between the equals. As far as the member state, Europe and India is concerned, there is also an aid program called as New Indigo uh, program for cooperation. Under this particular program, 
member state funding agencies, Europe, uh, European Union, and different Indian ministries are coming together and providing us thematic calls. And as of today, almost 15 million euros uh, are invested in three calls. And the recent call is on uh, energy. And the last date of uh, uh, 30th of August is the last date of uh, application. Um, I'm, I hope I had covered all the points what EU-India cooperation, and I'm, I will be happy to answer the questions. Thank you.